almost live from the point of Saginaw and Washington streets in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan, First Congregational Church presents Cafe Devo, a five-minute devotion that fits seamlessly into your day with an encouraging biblical thought designed to lift your spirit and point you to Jesus Christ. Thanks for clicking the start button. God bless you. Well, hey there. It's Saturday, February 25th, 2023, and this is another edition of Cafe Devo, but you already knew that. I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood. That's my sidekick over there in the corner, my pal Bugsy, and I hope your Saturday is going well. But before we get started today, we do need to take care of a little bit of birthday business. That's right, it's somebody's birthday today. Let me see. Teresa DeFrance, it's your birthday. All of us here at First Congregational Church love you, and we wish you a great day. And all together we say, Happy, Happy Birthday! birthday! As we've been doing for these few days of the Lenten season, as we're just getting started on that 40-day period, uh, we're turning once again today to this book, Psalms for Lent. It's a book that I researched and wrote for the members and friends of First Congregational Church. It's available electronically as well as in print. If you want a copy of it, just come by the church. We'll fix you up. And we're also emphasizing it throughout the Lenten season here on Cafe Devo. Today's psalm is Psalm chapter 8, and we've chosen verse 1 as our devotional thought for today. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. King David loved to worship God. He begins and ends Psalm 8 with the same sentence. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You've set your glory in the heavens. In Psalm 63, he wrote, Earnestly I seek you, I thirst for you, my whole heart longs for you. That's Psalm 63, verse 1. Your love is better than life, he continued. My lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. Psalm 63, verses 3 and 4. And then he continued, with singing lips, my mouth will praise you, in verse 5. David understood and practiced worship. Worship, both the worship we do together and the worship you do alone, is a major component of the Lenten season. One of the reasons many choose to fast or give up something for Lent is so they can focus more energy, energy on worshiping God. Richard Foster wrote, Worship is the human response to the divine initiative, our response to the overtures of love from the heart of the Father. Now, this is certainly true, but Jesus taught us worship is more than simply responding when he said God is spirit and his worshipers must worship in the spirit and in truth, John 4, 17. In other words, worship is enabled and facilitated by the Holy Spirit, and it must be completely authentic. In Psalm 8, David mused, When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is humanity that you are mindful of them? Human beings that you care for them. That's verses 3 and 4. David's becoming a little philosophical, but he was also humbling himself, reflecting on his place in the grand scheme of things, as well as that of all humanity. In other words, who am I that you should notice me? As you and I approach God in worship, we must remember to respect him. He is omnipotent, That means all-powerful. He is omniscient. That means all-knowing. And he is omnipresent. That means he's everywhere, completely transcendent of time and space. He is the Trinitarian God, 
both of those who acknowledge him and those who do not. He spoke creation into existence. He humbled Pharaoh. He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah and loved each of us so much that he came as a helpless infant, lived a perfectly sinless life, allowed himself to be crucified for the sin of everyone else, and rose from the dead. So the next time you seek to worship God, remember Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on the cross. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. That's Philippians 2, verses 5 through 11. Father, how we praise you. We lift up your name today and acknowledge that you are king. You are God. You are creator, our redeemer, our friend. You are all-knowing and all-powerful. You are everywhere completely, all at the same time, transcendent of time and space. You love us. You are part of our lives, but you are above and transcendent of your creation. How amazing you are, Father. So we lift you up and we simply praise you. As we go about this day, we recognize it as a gift and we acknowledge our complete dependence on you. So bless us, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, we've come to the end of this Saturday edition of Cafe Devo. Thanks for clicking that start button and spending a few minutes with me. I hope it was a blessing to you. Before I go, I do want to remind you that First Congregational Church gathers for worship tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. We would love to have you join us in person in our sanctuary at the point of Saginaw and Washington Streets right here in beautiful downtown Durand, Michigan. That's always the best way to worship, but if you can't make it in person, connect with us through the live stream. We'll be right here on Facebook with that going on live tomorrow morning. For now, I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off. God bless you, my friends. I love you all. 